Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, AJ's Movie Place. If you're a new viewer, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, that'll do me a great honour. It'll help the channel grow and all this. The channel's young, getting it off the ground. Um, also, if you like your content, like and share. Hit those buttons. Leave me a comment and I'll gladly get back to all comments eventually. Also, hit that notification bell so that you can keep up to date with all my content which is coming. There will be quite a bit of it. Guarantee you that. So today I've got a still book opening for you. It's the 1988 movie Young Guns. So without further ado, let's get into it. So yeah, I've recently got a hold of the still book version, Blu-ray still book version of Young Guns from Amazon Germany. Um, so I thought, let's do an opening, let's take a look at it. Fantastic film. A um, little bit about the film first. Like I said, this film was released in 1988. For us here in the UK, it actually came out on January the 6th of 1989. Yeah, so it was a New Year film for us. The film was directed by a director named Christopher Kane. Um, he hasn't really got no works as to speak of as such. He's done a few things after. Um, the film had a budget of $13 million and went on to gross $45.5 million worldwide. So, it, you know, it, it made a decent amount of money. So much so that a sequel was commissioned a few years later, being Young Guns 2, which is right there. Um, the film's runtime is 1 hour and 47 minutes. The basic premise of the story for the film, obviously it's a western, it's set in... in 1878 in New Mexico. Um, John Turnstall, character played by the great Terence Stamp, um, picks up young gunman on the road, uh, not as bad as it sounds, um, to work on his ranch, but he also teaches them reading, writing, and how to be civilised. Yeah, so he picks up a group of, 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 well, he picks up Billy the Kid. He's already got a, a, a group of children, uh, children, they're not children. He's already got a group of, of youngsters there, um, including Lou Diamond Phillips, um, Kiefer Sutherland, Charlie Sheen, Casey Siamasco, Dermot Mulroney, and, and they all work for him on this ranch. Um, now, John Turnstall, character played by Terence Stamp, has a, a competitor. Um, a rancher by the name of Murphy. Now Murphy is played by the great Jack Palance. Um, and things occur and John Turnstall gets gunned down, he gets killed by Murphy's men. Um, the young men end up being deputised and they go on like a little vengeance spree chasing down Murphy and Murphy's men. Um, and this is a story about how Billy the Kid got the name of Billy the Kid and all this sort of thing. And, and yeah, so... You know, um, it's a fantastic film, don't get me wrong. It's, um, I remember seeing the film when it came out. It's a whole lot of fun, you know. Um, yeah, it's, it's got a brilliant soundtrack, the, the, the tune, you know, the, the theme tune to it, the, the, the music within the film at the end when they have the gunfight and, and Milo Estevez comes out of the out of the building in the trunk. Um, fantastic music. It's, you know, it's a really, really good film. Um, I would say it's worth a 4K treatment. Like I said, there is a sequel and there has been rumours of them doing a third one. See if that comes to pass. We don't know. So, without further ado, that was a little bit about the film. Let's get to opening up the still book and um, take a look at what, what it's all about. Let me just adjust my camera and we'll get to it. Okay, so here we have the still book. As you can see, it has got a J card under there. Obviously, the, the, the age rating is hopefully just on the J card. Um, Limitaire Steelbook Edition. Milo Estevez, Kiefer Sutherland, Lou Diamond Phillips, Charlie Sheen, Dermot Mulroney, Casey C. Um, so there's a the cover, as you can see. There's your spine. Silver. Young Guns logo. And there's the back. There's all of them. Um... So, yeah, nice looking still, but let's open it up, get this um, 
wrapping off and, and take a look. So I'll cut into it carefully. Get this plastic off. It's got a lovely gold. There's, there's, okay, let's take this out. So, J card is only a very sort of thin, papery type one. Um, but yeah, so here's your um, cover. Um, lovely art. Emilio Estevez, Kiefer Sutherland, Lou Don Phillips, Charlie Sheen. Um, Casey Ciamasco and Dermot Mulroney there. So uh, it's got a very, it's got a gold motif, which sort of fits with the sort of Wild West um, feel of the, well, it's not feel of the film, it's a Wild West film, but it fits with that sort of a, a feel with, with gold prospecting and all that. So the, the gold sheen to it gives it that sort of a feel. Um, yeah, so there's the spine out of the wrapping. Let's have a look at the back. There we go. That's sort of like the classic image for the film, the classic poses, the classic poster that you've got with the entire, well, the main cast on it, the main cast of um, men that were deputised. Yeah, so that's, that's very nice. Um, let's take a look on the inside, shall we? Open it up. Well, no, first of all, let's have a look at front and back together. That's front and back. So that's a lovely steel book. That like said, this is only about 16 quid on Amazon UK. You can order it from. Um, that's a fair price for, for a wonderful film. Open it up. And there's your disc. Um, and there's your interior. Which is a saddle. Horse saddle. Yeah. So this is a film that I do return to quite often, actually. Every couple of years I will watch this film. It's, it's a fantastic film. Um, a lot of fun. Very enjoyable. Get that knife out of the image. We'll do a quick side-by-side -side with the Amaray that I have. There's the Amaray. Like I said, that's the image that you get on the back, like so. There's the spine of the Amaray in comparison to... That spine, and there's the back of your Amore case. Like so, the disc inside is that, and the disc inside this one is much the same really, except for the Blu-ray logo toward the bottom. So there's your side-by-side -side comparison. Um, like I did say, the sequel was made, Young Guns 2, which I have there. This is a US import. Um, I had been looking for it for a while, but as soon as it became available in the US, I did import it into the country because um, it wasn't available on Blu ray at the time. So, yeah, obviously, this film isn't as good as the first one, but it's still enjoyable enough. So yeah, so Young Guns 2, just a little bit about that one, quick one. Um, Young Guns 2 came at us in 1990. It had a subtitle called Blaze of Glory, so Young Guns 2 Blaze of Glory, um, and has been made famous by the song Blaze of Glory by John Bon Jovi. Um, very good song. Um, yeah, it, it, it went with the film. Um, it had an age rating of 12, so the age rating was lowered because Young Guns itself, the first one, actually had an 18 age rating for violence. Um, so they made it more marketable for a, a larger audience. Um, whereas Young Guns had like about a $15 million budget, this one went on to have a $20 million budget and earned about the same sort of money worldwide, $44 million. So again, it did go on to make a profit, uh, less of a profit than the first one because the, the, the cost of the first one was less than the second one. But nevertheless, it went on to... Um, make money. The, the, the film starred um, Milo Estevez yet again, um, Kiefer Sutherland came back, Louis Diamond Phillips came back, Christian Slater joined the cast, Alan Rupp joined the cast. Um, other members of the, of the cast didn't return because obviously they were killed in the first one. Um, now Young Guns Free, tentatively titled Guns Free, alias Billy the Kid, um, is currently sort of tentatively scheduled for a 2022 release and does see Emilio Estevez return. Um, Rumour has Christian Slater returning and Lou Diamond Phillips returning as his role as well. So we'll see if that comes to pass. Time will tell. Um, yeah. So anyway, so that was my opening and a little chat about Young Guns as a film and a film series, but primarily my opening for the Young Guns book. 
Um, there you go. Um, tell me, have you seen this film? Do you like this film? Have you got this film? Do you like the sequel? Are you excited for a third one if it ever comes to pass, if it does happen? Watch this space. So anyway, um, like always, leave your comments and, and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, thank you for joining me on this little trip and um, I shall speak to you soon. Or take care, goodbye, have a nice evening. Thank you.